running different stuff there. Quicker yeah. hits, quicker inside more. Yeah, and, that, and, it, and it's part of the game plan that we have with Sam. Because uh, we can run better runs like that because he always has an option to pull it. And it kind of opened it up a whole lot for me. So those were all RPOs? Yeah, yeah, most of them. And, and, it, and, it, and it, does, it does wonders for the offense. Just to have a quarterback that can have decision making on the, on the snap of the dime. So uh, it's, it's great to add that element to our offense. And we just got to keep it going and build on whatever we did today. So just is there a lot more RPOs than before? We had them in our offense, but um, we kind of ran them better today. Because um, we always ran them, and it's just, um, I, I guess we weren't running at the right rate. The coaches then went back to the books and really, really got in their, um, really got in the film and, and, and really made this thing work this week. Anything specific that you think the defense needs to work on moving forward this week? <clears throat> um, you know, for each team it's different, but uh, yeah, we just can't give that um, up that many yards. You, I mean, especially with the run game in the first half, and then started throwing the ball in the second half. Um, I mean, we corrected the run at half a little bit. We kind of stopped it a little bit more in the second half. But then, they, you know, they went to throwing the ball, and uh, we, we couldn't quite figure that out. So, I mean, it hurt us. You on fourth down, it seemed like. Well, I mean, uh, on third down, no matter what it was, he's you know, threw a curl to six, and it's tough to, you know, the team was rolling like that, stuff stuff to stop him in the back for, you know, it was fifth and one a lot of different times. So, uh, we ran the ball inside and got some penetration on this side. Give it up. I think I think I think he brought a lot of spark and you know, people behind him uh, made some good plays. Uh, and I was proud of him. So I, I think it was I think it was really exciting to watch him play. So yeah, I think the people behind him were good. How did everybody respond to Sam that he got this week? Um, well, always oh, he's, he's got a big game and um, he's that type of guy that. He really can rally everybody and get it going because um, he's always going to have that look in the eye that uh, we're going to do this, we're going to drive down the field, and he's going to give you his 100% effort like he showed on that touchdown play. And that just makes all everybody around him want to play that much more harder and um, really help him out. Okay, so yeah, um, once I was breaking on the ball, uh, my shoe just slipped off, and when I tried to get another play, I didn't, uh, I just I slipped again and caught a touchdown. How you were feeling on that last drive? They had, you know, the whole field to go. They had to go through a few fourth downs. What were you telling the defense? I was just telling them let's let's just get a stop. You know, if we get the ball in their hands, I know the offense will do a good, great job at running the clock out. Um, where they were nicking us nick for you know, three yards, four yards, and then they kept getting third and two, and they were stopping just for the yard. And so I just wanted things we we did what we needed to do, but we just should have. Put the ball on the ground. It just it changes the game. Like we could have been up on 21-7 in the first quarter and just just missed opportunities like that. It's gonna bite us in the butt at the end. Is it just the rain? Yeah, but but, but we right. knew coming in the game that it's gonna be rain. That's that's on our fault. That's to not uh, be a situational player and know that I gotta have the ball. You gotta have the ball. Two hands on the ball at all times. Part, I thought I made really good decisions. Um, I think that fumble um, could have changed the whole tone of the game for sure. Um, but yeah, I'd definitely like to have that fumble back, obviously, and I think everyone would who fumbled the ball. But um, we just got to do a better job of ball security. We practice it every day in practice, and uh, we just got to do a better job there. I had the opportunity to recruit him at a San Clemente and, and watch him perform and compete. and that the arena was never too big for him, uh, whether it was in high school or whether it was playing against Alabama or Stanford. And then you walk into a hostile atmosphere like this and on a rainy night and you, you go out there and do what he did, you know, throw for 253 yards and then, oh yeah, adds 41 yards worth of rushing. Um, he, you know, I thought for a guy making his first start uh, as, as, as good as you could hope for.